I, I want to get on the topic of, of relationships uh, because, you know, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. I got my roses to the side. You know, love is in the air. So <laughs> let's get to it as, as, as love is going around the league. And, and we wanted to get your thoughts on a few relationships. <laughs> Park, do you see that? <laughs> You're our very own Cupid. <laughs> Um, so we wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, some relationships that have been rekindled across the league. And if you think they are relationship goals or a situationship and what a situationship is, is something that's not really defined. You guys are just kind of talking, may ghost each other from time to time. It's just something not very serious. So per <laughs> let's start with you. Um, and, and we're going to go with John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins reunited from their Kentucky days, of course, and now the new identity of the Rockets who are currently in playoff contention out West. Are they relationship goals or just a situationship? Well, I think it's I think it's a relationship goal, and it's feel reunited, and it feels <laughs> so good. Sing it, Perk. But look, let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you why though. Let me tell you why because these are two guys that have been friends for a long time since college. They really care and love with one another, love love one another, and they've been wanting to play with each other. And both of these guys have something to prove. They couldn't wait for James Harden to get out of there so they could take over the team and, and start being leaders and balling out together. So I think this is real love that's going on between John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins. This relationship goes. And you know what? You can't help but to root for them to have a successful relationship given all of the injuries that they've been able to overcome. So, you know, it, whether or not that relationship goals or a situationship, I, I'm rooting for them on the outside. Uh, Jacoby, let, let's move on to the Suns, who got a win over the Sixers, actually, earlier today behind 36 from Devin Booker. Amen. But I, I want to focus on uh, CP3 and Monty Williams. Uh, you rekindling their relationship from the New Orleans days, both playing key roles in developing that young Suns team. Are they relationship goals or situationship? Oh, they are relationship goals. I mean, I think CP3 is like Robitussin and duct tape. He just fixes everything. You saw what he did with the Thunder <laughs> last year. Like, you, the, you put him on the Thunder, all of a sudden they're taking James Harden and the Houston Rockets yeah. to a game seven in the bubble. And the Suns, they played great in the bubble, but they needed to level up. You add CP3, guess what happens? You level up. Like, CP3 is that player that isn't celebrated enough for how he affects a team's win-loss record. Look at the Suns' win-loss record last year. Look at him this year. Look what he has done. And Monty Williams deserves some credit as well. I'm calling this full-on relationship goals. I mean, I, I want CP3 to mentor me at this point. Um, we're going to keep it moving, and let's get to the Knicks. Or well, Not quite the Timber Bulls, but uh, we got D. Rose and Tibbs reuniting again. Any team that Tom Thibodeau coaches – D Rose has been a part of Bulls, T Wolves, Team USA, and now the Knicks. Perk, are they relationship goals or are they just a situationship? No, it's relationship goals because one thing about it is that at this point of D Rose's career, I felt like he should have went to a contender. Now, although the Knicks are going in the right direction, he wanted to go play for, for the New York Knicks and Tom Thibodeau. It's real love there. Now, are they going to get to a championship anytime soon? No, but it is real love, Cassidy. Tom Thibodeau loves Derrick Rose, and Derrick Rose loves Tom Thibodeau, period. I mean, I don't know if this is just like a, a hurt Bulls fan in me, but it, something about it is just like guilt from the knee injury. It makes me feel like Tibbs just <laughs> is just loyal, I mean, to the T with, with D. Rose, and whether or not what's behind it, there is that true loyalty. Lastly, Jacoby, I want to finish off with Kevin Durant and James Harden. Are they relationship goals, or are they just a situationship? I mean, in that interview with Rachel, uh, James Harden said something really interesting. He thanked the people of Houston and the Rockets organization for trading him to Brooklyn. He wanted to rekindle this relationship with Kevin Durant. And I mentioned earlier, they were working to get out together in LA. James Harden's on contract with the Rockets. We all saw what it took to get him off that team and to Brooklyn. These two needed each other. They decided they were gonna make it happen. And it was a little messy, I'm not gonna lie, but all relationships are at some point. But they found each other, so they are relationship goals. Um, well, 
shout Cassie, out can to I, Cassie, can I yeah, add something yes, to that? Okay, go ahead. So, and I think it, 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 and listen, this is a rekindle. This is makeup because we all know that James Harden wanted Kevin Durant when he had when he was up for free agency and was leaving OKC and he chose to go to Golden State. James Harden was in his feelings behind that. So when they start working out this offseason in the summertime, Kevin Durant was like, hold on, hey, let me fix this. You want to come to Brooklyn? Get out of Houston. Let's make this happen. Let's fix our relationship. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.